Um, I average anywhere from 50 to 75 jumps a year, which is nothing in, the, in this club. I've been jumping for a little over five years. I've got about 600 jumps now. The last three or four years, I've been an ins a static line instructor. So when I'm in the air, I'm usually watching a student do some maneuvers that they need to do to get their license or um, chasing them around trying to catch them. You know, I was good friends with a guy who was in the military that was airborne. And we were supposed to go when he got back from Iraq, but unfortunately he didn't make it back. And so shortly after we had his memorial, and about three months later, went and jumped with about three of my friends. and. It was amazing. It's a challenge to teach these people how to skydive, and we've had a lot of, a lot of my students are real experienced, competent skydivers now, and that's a good feeling. I've gotten to be in the Nebraska, the state of Nebraska women's record. I've gotten to be in the Arizona women's record stuff. I've gotten to do quite a bit of really cool stuff. My dad has about 6,000 skydives and has been on the world record 350 way. And his mom was on, has been on the women's world record and has been on it several thousand. She's got 3,700 skydives, so it's in the blood. And I just like the, the act of actually jumping out of the airplane and um, I'll take it down low and flat, you know have fun under canopy and. It's, it's a liberating, fun thing to do. The people as much as anything. Yes, it's totally an adrenaline rush and you miss it when you're not in the air and don't have that surge of adrenaline. But after a while, it becomes way more about the people. And what I mean by bank is that he's probably gonna turn it on its right side and let you get a good shot. We have everybody from doctors and anesthesiologists to crazy people like Sonny, <laughs> um, retirees like Lee who's 82 years old and still jumping, he makes more jumps than any of us out here. We've got just everybody across the board and yet we all get along for the most part like one big dysfunctional family. I've broke my left leg once, it happens. It's usually bad judgment calls on your own, your own fault, thought I was going to beat the weather in and the weather beat me. Whether it's Vienna, Austria, or Eli, Arizona, or even Melissa just got back from Japan a few months ago. It just, you know, any drop zone is still home. I've traveled on trips where all we did was go from skydiving place to skydiving place. Um, a few years ago, we hit 12 places in 10 days in three states. Lee is an enigma. He is, his 82nd birthday is tomorrow. He um, doesn't like to make a big deal out of anything, but he is pretty darn amazing. He probably makes about 200, 250 skydives a year. He's probably the main person for our student program as far as couldn't even name how many people he's thrown out of the plane. It doesn't matter who you are or what you do. And he'll hide from you <laughs> and doesn't want to talk about it, but we're pretty attached to the old guy. He, um, hunts and fishes and traps and mows the grass and keeps us all as much in line as possible. When I can't physically do it anymore, it still, it scares you once in a while, but that's part of the fun of doing it anyway. You know, you're controlling your fear and you're doing it. They're my family. I mean, Thanksgiving wouldn't be the same without coming out here and 
just being, spending time with my family and giving each other crap and just, you know, laughing and enjoying the great blue sky out there. As long as I can still jump safely, I plan on doing it. It's just a hell of a sport.